hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video I will show you how to record a script using HP loot runner so if you're there and you have already installed your HP load runner on your computer let's go right into it so first thing when you install HP load runner you have uh, this on your desktop screen analysis controller and virtual user generator to start for us to record our script just click on the start button of your computer and then uh, scroll down and look for HP software when you see HP software on this little thing open and then uh, go down and look for web tool server so it says start web tool server click on that and then it opens it says uh, start web tool server so go ahead and minimize that and then come back to your main screen and click on double click on virtual user generator and then uh, it says uh, version 12.02 HP load runner when it opens up then uh, come right here it says uh, recent script open create let's go to create create a new script and then under script name script name let's type the script name let's type script name as our first first project first project one then enter solution name solution name we can say create An account create an account and then uh, create an account and then up here towards the far top left hand corner right hand corner sorry click on web HTTP HTML it highlights itself and then go down to the bottom and then click on create so it's a uh, loading for a solution so now your script has been created but we have not yet recorded it so here it's it uh, shows you uh, on all the things the action this V user in in it action V user n so um, now we have action right here so um, here on the top you see a red icon which says record so click on that action um, a web browser at address is a web tool index if you're using Facebook or other copy the URL and put it here and then start recording do you want to start recording immediately or in a delay mode then click start recording so it opens up the web tool application and then uh, yes action we can insert a transaction we can say uh, this is transaction number one transaction one click OK and then uh, when you transaction number one okay then uh, click on sign up now it opens up the web tool application for you to sign up complete this username you can use username to be Peter then password Peter
password Peter123 the same password one two three then first name what's the first name your first name is uh, Peter and then last name is Smith then address uh, five one eight seven Juliet Juliet Lane then zip code put your zip code then uh, click on continue now it says thank you for registering welcome to web Tool family we hope you meet all this 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 and then uh, now you have already uh, created an account so come back here and then uh, and then we said end transaction number one and we come here and said stop recording so it's generating our script now and we can look at it and see what happens so design studio when it opens just close this and then it takes you directly into your script so this is actually the script that we have uh, recorded so this is the script here it shows you web tool index it shows uh, everything here and then it shows uh, sign up now then username username it shows all the information that you entered in the application it shows here uh, use uh, username peter password uh, one two three uh, peter one two three and then it shows uh, last name it shows uh, the address just everything that we entered in that application it shows it here now we can go up here at the top and you see this little icon which says replay we can play our script that we have recorded to see whether it's passing or it's failing so click on that replay So you can see what's happening so it brings you script name first project one script pass with a green check sign and it shows you uh, the time that the script it has been recorded we recorded today so it shows the time of today so it says more information is available in in the test result you can click on test result and then it opens you the test result window for you to see everything with a green check sign so it shows you here first project then uh, you can click on uh, summary it shows you v user in summary it says status uh, pass three fail zero warning there's no warning and then uh, here it shows you the iteration pass action summary pass 12 this this is it tells you the time and then this one everything is good you can close the window and then um, here you can check output and then tasks and then if there are any errors then runtime data and then uh, everything you need is here so can go back to our first project so this is what uh, we've recorded so far it comes out clean and clear and it runs and it passed so guys so this is how you record a script in HP load runner so if you have any application you're doing performance testing on this is how you record your script
thank you guys for watching see you in the next video